Hi guys, welcome to Real Talk Jamaica, where no topic is off limit. I'm your girl, Kiwana Harris. This week, I am excited because we are highlighting young female entrepreneurs who are dominating their respective fields. Now guys, remember to like, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend about Real Talk. Talky Talk is up next and you know I miss it. staying with us and as the conscience would say from the little bit Mabena Osala all paper scraper anyway guys today I have with me two vibrant young ladies help me welcome Miss Sashika Harris and these young ladies are young entrepreneurs dominating their respective fields so ladies we us have a little girl talk jump straight into it so give me a little insight about your current business. All right, so I sell hair, cosmetics, every little thing. So I sell a little of everything, a little clothes, shoes, makeup, so everything is all about it. What about you, Brittany? To be honest, my store is a one-stop shop, <laughs> meaning I sell everything that's seasonal except from furniture. So, this is where you shop everything. All right. So, what gave you the inspiration for your business? All right. For me, I like the whole flashy thing. I like to dress up, hair, makeup, everything. So, growing up, I always wanted to, like, do hair. I always wanted to become a hairdresser. Even when I was going to school, people was like, you want to become a hairdresser? And I'm like, yes, I want to become a hairdresser because back then, you know, people looked. I wouldn't say look dumb, yeah, they did. but I didn't mm -hmm. think it was a profession. So I always wanted to do hair and so growing up I said no I want to always have my hair business. I want to do makeup and stuff. So I went after it. So that's how I become to sell hair. For me, growing up I am always hustling with my mother. So I get that off my mother to be honest. So I realized doing the, the business, I realized I actually like it. So growing up in it, you actually get a passion to love it. Mm -hmm. So to be honest, it's just so it's in my blood. I really love it. Good. So what was your occupation before? Did you have any occupation before starting your business? Yeah, I used to work for a clothing store. And I see where I was like giving the, letting the boss happy and everything. So I was like, no man, you look like a, this is what me like because if I go into the field and I realize me I go and go the night, this is what I love. So it actually pushed me to start a business for myself also. What about you? As for me, I was a waitress. They call it a butter girl. So I was a butter girl in parties, serving bottles. Also, I was a student. So meanwhile, serving bottles, I was a student and I can recall doing a receptionist job at a particular spa here in Kingston. Okay, so mm -hmm. those jobs that you did really motivate you right. towards your business. Right. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, going forward now, what's your secret behind your success? For me, <laughs> I think it's my voice. So make me hear the voice there and all All right, when I'm promoting <laughs> my stuff, I'm very loud. I, I, when I'm promoting, I'm make you want to buy the thing because may I talk about every detail of the thing. Make me wear the thing, if may I sell the flowers, my like video, I'm going details. So people always tell me, so that's what I mean. Sell the flowers, yeah. Sell, flowers, sell, I sell the flowers, I told you. I sell the flowers. So, when I open the flowers, you know, I'm going to say, guys, this flower is so beautiful. Like, look at the detail of the floor. <laughs> look at the little bamboo thing around it. Look at the little... Hey, I'm going to go. 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 I'm
my go in details. So them like that boo me and them mm-hmm. them them most people tell me say I'm actually my boys. Mm-hmm. Make them actually buy from me because some people if they just post the normal product, mm-hmm. especially if they're not famous. Mm-hmm. It don't don't push them to buy the thing. So that's why I get I get my customers. What about you? For me, I think my determination and drive. Because seeing that I really love the hair, so you know, I get up and I put on my own wigs, I style it, show people how it wear. So by them seeing how I carry myself and how I wear the wigs and style it differently, I think they adapt to that, like it. So I think that's how my uh, business... Uh, that's how you, your, your um, business grow. Right. Wow, very good. So is there any like marketing secret? Any secret that any marketing skills that you have or it's just natural what come with natural. you? Natural. I was being natural me. Mm-hmm. Just your just your personality. Right. right. Very good. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. All right. So the pandemic um affected a lot of business. How about your business? What what definitely how... not affect mine. I am all around season <laughs> store. To be honest, let me describe my store. My store is very affordable. You can get like a clothing from my store for two thousand dollars. So definitely, pandemic really gained customers for me because them see the cheap and clean. Them are working. Well, say cheap and clean. Talk up the things. Cheap and clean. All right then. So it wasn't affecting me at all. So you never do any changes or mm-hmm. anything different, anything new. You never do anything like that. No. I would just say because my store is reasonable, it's just cheap. Like, if you can get a suit of clothes for two thousand dollars up to an inner half a tree, men have not to worry about. For real, what about you? As for me, my business is a COVID baby, so I have my business during the pandemic. Oh, so you I started? started off, okay. Right? So I started off in my little house. I put up like a backdrop. Uh, put the wigs on a mannequin, take videos and pictures of it, post it on my social media, well, on the business social media. Mm-hmm. And then from there, I realized I'm gaining customers. So I've always been selling things like, you know, online until one specific day I said to Britain, and Britain, you don't know any way that's renting because I can't bother to always drive and do deliveries. Etc. She said to me, say no, but you know, I'm gonna look for you. And the following week, she got a shop for herself and she told me about a shop space across from her. So, so as to Brittany, where she's familiar with um, selling in the half a tree area mm-hmm. or selling overall, I was new to everything. So, but I can say we're still in the COVID the area, era, mm-hmm. right? But I'm growing. Here in a cell every day, and people sometimes think it's expensive, but I can't complain because I do get customers, I do get sales, etc. Okay, ladies. All right, so how you balance? Because we are going to go down in a little business mm-hmm. now. So, how you balance your work life and your personal life? All right, for me, I think vacation. <laughs> so, I am always working people like even Castilla right so she come right mm-hmm. here will tell me, girl, you need to calm down, you go and work every day, you know, because I'm addicted. You see, because I love it, so it really just every day me I feel work work. But oh me get my personal life out, I go to either vacation or I go to dinner. I'm a dinner person, so I left work and just go to a restaurant just in my work clothes. So I think those are the two things different from work. Okay. So That's do you have a hold on one minute? Let's jump to you. May I go may I keep on Brittany a little bit? Mm-hmm. Brittany, so do you have a partner? Yes. If the people are in a viewer line now see the partner. Them <laughs> not see the partner, but she said you have a partner. Yeah. Okay, so how your partner balance knowing that you because you say you love it, you always at work and stuff. So how your partner, your partner come play and I say Britain every minute you're gone or or what? No, because we're always together. Oh so when I'm working, he's working. When I'm going out, he's there. So it's never no company. And the fact that we 
only this means so okay this means so it's a good partnership good partnership. i'll work with you all right then all right my blessed girl talk to me now as for me it's basically the same thing me and britain is very close friends so we share similar activities if we're going to a hotel we go together if it's a case where we're at work we need to have dinner so it's basically the same thing any personal life no personal person <laughs> Oh, well, I don't like Britain. Britain is the one who did it every day. I make sure I say, I'm just more the laid back type. I will take some days off. So, you know, when I take my days off, I'm around my spouse. But otherwise, yeah, it's, it's manageable. All right, there is this misconception. I'll not say misconception. Men always like they're very intimidated by like a very strong woman a woman who knows her purpose who knows her words a woman who is successful in, in her job or whatever career field mm -hmm. but men are sometimes intimidated by this what do, how do you feel about it about these type of men <laughs> it is me to be a yeah it's just here and there for me i mean it's what I want, my goals. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't really think about that part, so I don't know. Mm -mm. I don't know. They said that not gonna work for you, Brittany. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I love my business too much. That not gonna work. So, so you're not even business if you want to feel intimidated. Say so yeah. you're carrying all of your money. Mm -hmm. You're just yeah. a carrying your money. Definitely. And you know you get your money. Brittany, me just know, me just see you. Said just you just say yeah, my money, me just. No, 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 I just get the vibes yeah. from you. Like, it just say, yeah, I'm my money. I work my yeah, money. That's definitely who I am. I'm always working. Yeah. And my customers love to see me. So I'm always loving. I love to be there. I'm not always like, I'm work for the Sometimes I'm like, see, so I can work for the If they don't really come for buying no home, they don't buy. But if me, they don't, to them, they want to feel like a way, they buy it. All right, so you say you're the face of the brand, you're the face of the company, you're the face of everything. Right. Of course, same way, so <laughs> I like it. I hope you like it, you know. Make sure that it is, you know, because the ladies never go out of other things. Have you ever been um, arrested, harassed, or discriminated for being who you are in your business? Yeah, I would say um, people want to be competitions with me. Mm. Like where I am right now, I bring a lot of customers up there. Mm -hmm. So I build my brand online. So when when I reach up there, a lot of people never know store was up there. So I would say competition. People think people want to be in competition with me, but you know I don't look. I look at the bigger picture. I look at who's coming in my store. I don't care about nobody else but my business. If we sell the boat, same items, that's not my problem. I just care about me and my business. So I would say people are asking with competition, thinking I'm competing with them really and I'm not. What about you? I think people look at it like you're too young. You don't know much about wigs mm -hmm. uh, because they sell here too. They're in the hair business a long time. So sometimes I think that, you know, she's a little young, she don't know the different type of lace and stuff like that. So the same thing, it's very competitive. They, right, but they think that you're not knowledgeable. Right. Even mm -hmm. me too, yeah, that part yeah. of the age. So sometimes they look down on us like, it's a young man, you know? But yeah, because we have a lot of customers mm -hmm. bigger than us and one them here like what age and what? Yeah. You like you are some ratings. Yeah, or sometimes yeah. you are some ratings. Yeah, so yeah, that too. Yeah. So people tend to like discriminate against your age then. Yeah, your age is a big age. factor. Mm -hmm. Right. And mostly older persons. Right. That is true. Mm -hmm. It's true. All right. So my final question. Boy, I never want it done so quick. Mm -hmm. Because me, I get a real nice vibes from owner. I am really enjoy the conversation so far. Mm -hmm. So my final question to you guys. We have a young woman out there watching. Right? And she wants to pursue her dreams as an entrepreneur. What advice best would you give her? What advice I would give her is do what she loves because if you don't love it you're not going to do it long because 
I realized I love it when I was working for somebody. So she maybe can go out there, try work and see which one she really like and then go off of that dream. But if she don't like it, it's not going to last long. You have to love it. It's the same as how Sashika love here. She definitely is going to be in that business. Like I love to sell the selling clothes, anything. Like I am addicted. You're just a salesperson, you're just a sell. Yeah. So she have to love it to reach their goal. She have to have a passion for it. Yeah, she has to have that's a passion. Nature, passion. The dog passion is really not a part of But follow your dream. Anything to add? My advice is just, yeah, just follow your dreams. Always put God first. Because as long as you speak to God, trust me, you'll give you the knowledge on what to do. If you don't have an idea to the way you want to, you never have no skill, you don't have nothing, just talk to God. You know, and when you put um, certain knowledge to you to see, well, I can do that. And don't make nobody at all stop you. No matter if you're young, no matter how you look, just nobody make nobody stop you. If it's, if it's in you, trust me. That's just about it. And if you get it, um, always try to like build your brand. Right. Don't just open a store so like build a brand, even online. Because Start online is really the best, you know. But store is kind of helpful. But online is the really the best. But build a brand, and then you will reach your goal. Okay, ladies, I'm going to give you, you are giving you five seconds to promote your business. Just promote it. All right, guys. So my business page name is Allison's Closet. I want you guys to follow it because, listen, this shop is a one-stop shop. We sell clothes. We sell sheet, curtain, perfume, every little thing. When you just come and shop, we're located at Clock Tower Plaza, right beside the KM OCL, upstairs, second shop on the left hand side, KMS. Just follow up on Instagram, H A L L I S O N, Closet. Thank you. All right. As for me, it's bless your and lashes. If you guys want any form of wigs, colored, natural, closure, bobs, you all know. You can follow us on Instagram, bless here, B L E S S underscore hair and lashes. Thank you, ladies. It was a very interesting and motivating conversation. It was my pleasure to have you guys here. I know that you love that conversation. It was so inspiring. So don't go anywhere because we have Fix Up Yourself. And this week, Fix Up Yourself is Fix Up Your Taxes. So don't move a muscle. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Real Talk Jamaica. Happy for Avono. But may I be more happy if you want to like, subscribe, and tell a friend. Guys, remember to comment and ask questions in the chat. Anyway, today, Fix Up Yourself is all about taxes. So in the hot seat today, we have tax expert Shante Moffat. Welcome, Shante, to Real Talk Jamaica. Thank you for having me. And we are going to jump right into it, straight into the questions, right? So you're going to be teaching my viewers about taxes and why is it important for us to file our taxes. Good? Okay, great. All right. So why do we need to pay our taxes? Okay. <clears throat> um, a lot of persons, that's the first question that a lot of persons ask. Why do they need to pay taxes if they're not operating? That's a benefits in paying your taxes. First of all, you, <laughs> you're contributing to national development. Your country runs off your taxes, so you are contributing to that. And also, in paying your taxes, you're contributing to your pension, which is NIS. And also, we all know and all want to benefit from NHT and also education tax. So. In times gone by, persons would have been able to only contribute to NHT because that's what most persons, you know, cared about. However, the Jamaican government improvised and found new ways <laughs> to allow everybody to pay across the board to the different tax types. So it's very important to pay your taxes. And it, it's um, you become in good standing with your business and 
financial institutions because they will ask about certain things like that. So you are encouraged to pay your taxes. So Ms. Moffat, before we go any further, tell us about the different taxes that we pay here in Jamaica. Okay, so we all pay taxes whether you have a business or not because from GCT to everything we pay taxes. Now, once you, there are two types. You can, you can be PAYE, which means you are employed to a company. Mm -hmm. Whether you get paid weekly, fortnightly, or monthly, a, deductions are taken from your salary, and they are paid over to the relative tax department. Mm -hmm. So you have income tax, education tax, NHT, NIS. Those are the four things that you'll see coming out of your salary. Separate and apart from maybe other deductions that you contribute to, whether you have other investments or so on your salary. But those are the main ones. Those are the main taxes that comes out of your salary or your pay. And then you have um, somebody that is self-employed. They would pay the same amount of taxes and that would come out. Now for income tax, that would be once you have a qualified for the not qualified once you've reached the threshold and the threshold is i think now one hundred and twenty five thousand and eight dollars monthly once you're earning over that you'd be required to pay income tax and that is 25 percent of your earnings also nis uh, has now increased i think it increased maybe two years ago to six percent before it was five percent like nhd so nhd is five percent nis is six percent and education tax is 5.75%. Now, all of that, once you are being paid through a company, means that you're PAYE and you are employed. On NHT, the employer pays 3% of that 5%, and the employee pays 2%. Okay. NIS, the employer pays 3%, employee pays 3 So that's the 6 And then we can go down and divulge a bit more in the other taxes and as I said your employer has nothing to do with your income tax it's just 25% out of your salary and that is if you're below a particular threshold because if you're actually making more or a certain bracket you will pay 30% um, from your salary so the more money you make uh, the more, more taxes you pay however there are beneficial their paying taxes is beneficial, I should say. So, you know, if you are self-employed, you pay that full 6% for NIS, that full 5% for NHT and your income and all of that. So that's how, that's the, that's the breakdown, the common breakdown that you'll see. And you'll see it on your pay slips and so. And the persons normally want to find out if... Uh, how they know if their taxes are being paid Right, I was over. just about to ask you that question, <laughs> so go right ahead and explain. It's a common question, and um, most persons, what you can do, you can visit um, your, your nearest NHT office to find out if your employer is actually paying over your taxes, and the duration of when it is being paid, how much is paid, if it's their actual earnings. You know, some persons might have different contracts that explain different things, so once you go there, um, the different entities would be more than happy to assist you in letting you know if it is being paid over and how much is being paid over. And you can go to the tax admin to find out the other tax types as well. Okay, so what would I take with me when I'm going? Uh, you just basically need your TRN and your NIS and just the information um, that you would know, the name of the company that you've worked for, how long you've worked there. How long have they been deducting contributions? Just stuff like that. Okay. Very interesting. I hope we're not learning now. And I hope you're taking notes because this is new to me that you can really actually go and check if your taxes are being paid over. Very good. Yes, you can. Can I get a tax refund and how can I get a tax refund? <laughs> All right. Uh, persons normally ask about tax refund in the frame of mind of, uh, like in the U.S. when people Right, you know, like it's tax season now, right. I get my tax mm -hmm. refund and stuff. I know about the refund if you have overpaid, <laughs> you can get a refund. Or if um, there was well overpayment or if there was some um what i would say you now miscalculation 
on uh, the employer's part and then too much money was contributed or you might find that person might have multiple jobs and NIS, NIS has a ceiling that you can only contribute X amount okay, per year as an okay. individual. So you might find you, you get in a refund and there's a process at the tax administration that you would go through to get your refund. But if there are any other um, refunds that I need to know about, I think you should contact the tax administration. <laughs> They'll because be in a better position to Right, because you know, you know Americans can always say, you know, yeah. tax season and we'll get our refund. So, you know, we Jamaicans would have like to say that too. <laughs> <laughs> but it will look like it's going to be possible. Cause yes, but some Jamaicans don't even pay tax. <laughs> it's what they want, refund. It's, it's like, true, it's true. It's, uh, it's true. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. There's that. Okay, so if I open my business now and I would like to have like a business account, would that be beneficial? It would be because you're separating the business from yourself. It, 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 it is more, there's more transparency mm -hmm. in the sense that you can see what your business is actually making. And it helps you with um, just keeping a good track record of what is happening. And it builds a better credit for your business itself than you, the individual. So okay. I would encourage everyone that has a business, open a separate account for the business and keep a personal account for yourself. Okay, my final question. And this one is from um, going to company's office. Because there are a lot of persons out there who want to open business, but when they, they don't know the procedure or they don't know what type of business they should open, can you highlight us on some of the type of business businesses that we can open? Well, you can open virtually any, bus any legal business <laughs> at company's office. All you need to do is, um, you, you know, everybody knows where company's office is, Grenada Way in New Kingston. And they'll have, they'll have very helpful customer service persons. So you can open um, like just a regular business name, and that's mm -hmm. for 2500 I think, the last time I checked. And then you can open a limited liability, which requires you to have um, a minimum two directors and a company secretary. And that is for 24800 Don't quote me on that, but it's close enough. I just run it off to about $26,000. Mm -hmm. And you can open the company for that. Everything takes about five business days. I know they have services that you can expedite it, so you can get it quicker if you need it urgently. Or just you can just go on their website. It's pretty easy. And the form is there. Of course, you know you'd have to bring in documents, fill out a form. And that is what we call the legal aspect of your business, your documentation, and that the information that you provide is as truthful as possible and specific and direct, of course. All right, thank you. Well, Miss Moffat, before you go, I said that was my last question, but I lied. <laughs> so anyway, um, we are talking about young, successful entrepreneur women. Mm -hmm. And I know that you are a successful entrepreneur in your field. And I just want to ask you a question. How or what is your secret to your success? <laughs> okay. Well, if I tell you, it's no longer a secret. Well, but tell, I, tell. <laughs> All right. Whisper but, to me. Then. But I have no secret. It is all just God and just God all over it. I experience miracles daily. I experience favor and I don't have a secret. I, 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 I think of something and I said, God, I wonder if I can do it. And then I remember just um, Daniel in the lion's den. And then it's just like, all right, you just have to do this. And Same because way. the things, um, my aunt always tells me that, boy, you always do things that are not for the faint of heart. So, <laughs> so um, I, 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 I consider myself to be very brave. And I think this courage comes from God. Um, I am just, I don't know how to account it. I don't have a formula. I cannot calculate and say, listen, I do this and I wake up 5 o'clock every morning and I am like this and I am like that. I just said, listen, I wonder if I can do that. I said, God, 
You know, so mega do that, and the first thing you have to do, just start. There will never be a right time. There will never be the most, the best environment. All you have to do is just start, and that is how I've been living my life as an individual. I just start. I don't know. I might not have all the resources at that time. I might not have the best, I would say, <laughs> experience. Sometimes I have no experience. And um, I just start because I know, uh, because I know God like that. Exactly. I know that he will just say, uh, listen, and put me in some places and some, and <laughs> I, I, am, I am in awe a lot of times because literally I just, a lot of times we get up and we want to feel like we know what we're doing and we have everything all together and this is what I want and I know that and I've known from I was eight that I wanted this. No, that's not true. I can't sell that facade. I have failed and I have failed miserably and I have failed hard and I get up back and I know that it's just, uh, all right, so I fail. Because one time I, I know how it feels to fail and I don't like the feeling. Exactly. I know how it feels to fail and I don't like the feeling. When I fail, I am at my lowest. I'm at, in a very bad mood. But it's a part of life because it helps you to grow. And if you're growing and your position is so in such, you're in such comfort then, you're not growing. If you're everything that you do, you say, okay, yes, I'm so good at this. I'm so No. You grow out, outside of your comfort zone. So you have to make that very first step. And the first step is sometimes terrifying. Like I made an, <laughs> an academic first step that I never thought would have been possible in my life. And when I made that first step and then I got what, I, what, what was supposed to be good news that, yeah, you got through, you were accepted. I was like, I wasn't happy. I was like, what have I done? Why I got to do this? And I had so many questions and I was like, what are doing this? Is this happening? And I just start taking one, you know, like when, I, when you watch a doppel show and <laughs> you see them just take time, tip it in, into the, until you can walk and relax and walk. And when you reach at the end of that tunnel of that dark and grand place or that place that brought you so much anxiety and stress and you are at the end and you, you're in disbelief but you're in disbelief because how you took that first step was just so the courage it took you know for you to just step out so that is my it's not a secret because uh, that is how i have been living and uh, i take these bold steps knowing that god is there for me and Yes, with a wonderful supportive family, of course. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Moffat. It was an awesome chat. Thank wonderful you. interview. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you, thank you. So guys, listen, we had a wonderful talk. Fix up yourself or go on with itself. We had a strong woman on Fix Up Yourself. Plus, we had two beautiful, strong women on Talk Your Talk. Listen to me, man. The ladies, them are going with a bag of things. I just want to say thank you to all my guests. And It's About will be up next. As you know, social media always a keep and Jamaica is not a real place. So here is Itabuzz with our top three buzz. And you bust the gate wide open. So I do road time now. Last week Thursday, Prime Minister Andrew Olness decided to lift all COVID-19 protocols and social media went crazy. Miss party clothes start sell off. Girls all are talk about them I got gym after quarantine. So guys, how do you feel about the new found freedom? family came for a short stay and the people weren't having it 
they were protests up by the British Embassy. They are saying that they need to abolish the monarchy. And Prime Minister Andrew Olness signaled to the Duke that Jamaica will be quote unquote moving on. So guys, do you think that Jamaica is ready for the move or should we be done with this long ago? Send your comments and questions in the chat. Guys, this is my favorite boss for the week. Masem Afalaf. No, this is a related topic, but yes, Mr. L.A. Lewis himself. You know, L.A. Lewis, the man will write up Travel the 14 parishes and write up him name for everybody wall, him CM1. Went down to Trench Town to meet and greet with his family. The royal family, may I talk about, you know, because you know, so the queen, I am grand aunt, and she always advertise him, dance them film. Anyway, guys, he was asked to speak to the press, and Bobsy, yes, Minister Bobsy Grange, came in and said, Ellie, this is not your show. Miss <laughs> I can't stop laugh. Let's take a look at the clip. <laughs> no, sir. Give a warm welcome to the wife a warm welcome. And there's a beautiful man to bring you. Yes, sir. All right. This is not your show. All right, man. So, give up yourself, people. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a No, LA go a court. Go file clear against Bob Z. No, this is serious. Do you believe he has a right for doing this? No, I have to chat up all kinds of things in the chat about that one because that one is at bad. If you wish to advertise with us at Real Talk Jamaica, we have you covered. 10 seconds, low, 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 $2,000. 15 seconds, you know, reasonable, three, five. And 30 seconds, we have you rated at 7,005. So call us or email us at Real Talk Jamaica and follow us on Instagram and you can also DM us. Guys, I really enjoyed the show there because I enjoyed every aspect of it. You know, see all the women are going with themselves and are going with the bag of things. So anyway guys, have a productive week. Q on a Mighty Bless is signing out. Thank you so much for joining us and please remember to hit that notification bell and join us.